Hi, so I just wanted to do kind of this rough, quick overview of this new toy I just got. And that is the RCA, not RCA, the JVC BY110U ENG camera. And if you don't know what an ENG camera is, consider yourself lucky. But uh, it stands for Electronic News Gathering, and uh, these cameras are used to gather news. Um, this is, of course, before the camcorder per se was invented, so there's no recording medium on this. It is just a camera. And uh, it has three, uh, I believe, like third inch or something, so three SATACON tubes in it. Um, which means, in layman's terms, it looked pretty. Um, I've seen video from cameras like this, and it looks really good. It's probably the best you can get for tube-based standard definition. Um, and somehow these things retain their value. Um, this one cost me about 70 bucks, and it's in pretty poor shape. Um, but a lot of them I see can go for hundreds of dollars, which is not that much, I guess, but that's more than I'm willing to pay. But I'll go ahead and give you kind of a basic tour of this camera. And I'm going to try to keep it in focus the entire time. So I'm still in the process of kind of cleaning it off. Here, let me get, a, get you some telephoto. So it's got all these features here. And this is stainless steel. Uh, you can see it's painted. I actually tried to... I wanted to scrape a little off just to see how uh, you know well it was on there. Um, have I knocked myself out of focus? Okay. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm not good with digital cameras. Um, it's got all kinds of different switches here, most of which I don't understand. Uh, it's got like a microphone input, which is useful. It's also got these little orbs all over it, like there's one on the lens up here, there's orbs all around it. I don't think those are factory, but, you know, maybe the people at JVC were doing crack. Um, so it's got like a BNC test output, um, which is neat. I think that's for doing color bars. I think this generates color bars. I'm no expert in ENG stuff. I've worked a little bit with like modern ENG kind of stuff, but not enough to call myself an expert or anything. Um, and you may already notice this thing is in pretty poor shape. Um, it's uh, this when I actually kind of pulled it off because it was kind of falling off and it was also off center. I don't know why. I think this thing might have been exposed to heat and we'll see that uh, in a minute here. You can actually kind of see it over here. Um, I had to use isopropyl alcohol to kind of get the goo off because the rubber has turned to goo. Um, but if we turn it over here we'll also see the uh, back which has a... Whoa. God, I... This is a DSLR. I've never shot with one of these. The battery compartment. I've got a battery here which is came with the camera. It's not in good shape and I would probably kill myself if I actually tried to use it. But uh, it's not one of the normal mounts you see on ENG cameras. It's like its own thing like that. Oh that was a horrible noise. Um, and uh, you can also see it's got an output uh, for like a VTR, which is, uh, wait a minute, that might actually be the name of the cable you need, I'm not sure. Um, a lot of this stuff I don't understand because I haven't turned it on and actually seen what it does. Um, but uh, this is a 14 pin cable that is on many different cameras of this vintage and variety. And you would plug it into say a U-Matic. Um, probably not a Betamax, or definitely not a VHS. Um, but if we turn it over here... Ooh, that could have been bad. I shouldn't be trusted with this kind of thing. We can see it's got uh, all sorts of videotape recorder controls. Um, like, you know, it, there's the color bar generator. So it's got bars on or off, white balance, auto or reset. Um, it's got uh, an amplifier too, so it, you can amplify the video. If you're shooting in, you know, different conditions, then you're going to want to do that. If you're shooting like a car wreck at night, which would you rather do? Not bring a light and not get the shot or, uh, you know, just use this. And that's pretty cool. It adds, you know, noise, but 
you got your shot. Um, it's also got a lot of these little hidden things. Um, so this is, I'm not sure what this is. I think it adjusts the tubes, maybe. I don't actually know how to adjust the sink on the tubes. Because um, I know that's a thing that you have to do. If I move this out of the way. There's also a little knob here that does something. Not sure what it is. Um, you've got, yeah, I think that's, uh, yeah, this is um, filters. Um, then we've got this lens. This lens is actually pretty incredible. It's a 10 times zoom lens. And it's got some interesting features. Some of these actually have, uh, um, what's it called? Doublers. Uh, but I know you can, I think you can, I think it's you can change where infinity is on this. Um, and you know, it's, it's beefy. No autofocus, of course. Um, now if I, I'm going to try to get this part on. Tape here. Um, this is one of the other panels. It's for the white balance, um, things like that. And it's hidden, you know. It's very, very hidden. I didn't notice it until about five minutes ago. Um, if we turn this around, you can see some more of those little orbs. Orb, other orb. Go here. I haven't seen a lot of good breakdowns of these cameras. Well, specifically this model, at least. You've got your uh, iris control. You've got uh, your power zoom, which is, you know, it's an analog switch that's on a spring. So you can actually um, change... Uh, you can, uh, you know, it's based on touch. You know what I'm trying to say. There's a little setting right below the hand grip that uh, can do the power zoom so that, you know, I'm not going to force it, obviously. But you can see that doesn't look good. Yeah, because it was melted. Um, and if you look over here, it's even worse. I'll go ahead and actually get a flashlight and I'll show you. I've spent all day trying to uh, get that stuff off. And I've, I've done a fairly okay job, you know, best as I can. Um, I think that's really about all there is to this camera. Um, a lot of this stuff, again, I don't understand, but I, I can I can do a sequel maybe once I get it actually working and I can actually edit, because I'm not planning on editing this video. Um, just a bold artistic choice. Um, but, that's this camera. I'm going to see how I can get this paint off. I don't know exactly, I guess paint thinner, but um, I don't know how that's going to react with stainless steel. Um, and you can see I've, I've been trying to get a lot of this junk off. Um, but, uh, you know, wait a minute. Hmm. Sorry, I'm, I'm still learning things about this camera. Over here is the earphone and the mic input. Uh, I guess that, that would be to speak back to whoever was in the van, because this camera could be used from a van. You just uh, run this little 14-pin cable, and they made very, very long ones, too. Like, you know, you'd spend $600 on a single cable, but it's like an obscene length. Um... That's really all there is to this camera, at least for now. Um, a lot of this stuff I don't understand again, but uh, hopefully I will at some point. Um, once I actually get it working to, I'll obviously you know, inundate my channel with videos made with it. But uh, for now, that's really all I got. Um, I hope that... Uh, this video finds you well and that you are enjoying your uh, catboy summer. Bye.